Anul Mundra. I have uh, I have a immense corporate background. I am an engineer by degree and uh, an ex banker. So that's what about my personal background. I stay in the wife from last nine years. I always realize that people never take Facebook groups seriously, or there is so much potential in digital media, but uh, how much people are really understanding. So that's where I think the seed of IED came from, and uh, I just wanted to tell out people that okay, serious business can happen here. There are a lot of good ways where we can use Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, all the social media basically. So it was more from that context. So this group was started in Jan 2020, so we're literally uh, one and a half years old. And uh, when this was started, this was just the first day itself. We were just small, forty, um, forty-two people. And uh, over this one and a half years, we are right now today at forty-two thousand plus members. I was a ex-banker, so I had job and I had a two and a half year old baby, and this group with lot and lot, lots and lots of ideas in mind. So it was always a challenge to manage my time personally as well as for all of these things individually. So that's when I had to prioritize, and I thought, okay, maybe this is something where I want to invest my time because this is what the future is. So um, that's what I started doing. And like I said earlier, that you know people don't take Facebook groups seriously. So that was the biggest challenge, which I think um, somehow uh, we are trying to convey, and it's getting conveyed is where uh, you know I feel happy. Indian expats. We are not in our country. We are outside, right? So it's like uh, we. So that ship kind of represented that we don't. Oh, we are not mainly from this place, but that also, uh, you know, uh, kind of gave in significance that though we are outside and you know we are sailing our own uh, set of struggles or um, uh, or even the good or bad part uh, of being outside the country. Still, we are there for each other to share, to support, to help. um in best possible ways mainly our prime main focus is to support businesses through advertising and marketing and uh, in the span of this one and a half year that i spoke of we have supported 160 plus businesses so um and and the way we do it is obviously through reaching out to the 22 to the 42000 uh, database that we hold today um across various channels and this 42000 are just uh, on the the facebook uh, database on instagram we are 20000 plus followers on whatsapp uh, we have a reach of 10000 people on telegram we have a reach of 5000 people so we literally help these businesses reach out to masses and convey about what their business is and you know the way we advertise and market we try to make it simpler for people so that they understand what's happening and in turn that helps the entire community the first thing we want to do uh, irrespective of the fact that whether we support a small medium or a large scale large scale business is to uh, to go through a basic check of whether the business is licensed or not um, how much of uh, an established entity that is already today what is their exact requirement how we can you know add value uh, in uh, to be able to spread the word about uh, that particular business As far as marketing and advertising is concerned, I am very much personally involved. I reach out to them. I sit with them. I make sure the initial meetings are only where I am uh, definitely present, and uh, I like to understand the business. That is also something I enjoy knowing because there's so much in the world to know about. So I kind of sit down with them. What is their model? What is the what is the product they're offering and what is the sort of service they're giving said analyze the requirements as to how we can help them what can indian expats in dubai bring on to the table that's going to help them uh, otherwise so we obviously had the vision of indian expats staying in dubai but today when i talk the numbers the numbers that i represent it's almost like uh, we are still very much dubai uh, based so it's still like the database is still 85 86% dubai only but that 10 15% is definitely from the other emirates as well which is abu dhabi sharjah and whenever we add them there is obviously a definite check as to uh, what why they would want to be in this group 
uh, earlier we were just a women's group and then i thought okay what what else can we do and then i thought it's more about business so the idea should be to be across gender so that's when we opened up uh, to the men as well and now currently we do have a great uh, men database as well um the idea is again also to i know the initially it was named as indian expats in dubai but in order to grow i think we all need to overcome the the gender the age the uh, the nationality and all those things so i think some day uh, some day not uh, we are definitely not prepared right now but some day down the line it would be definitely other nationalities and we would we might just be the expats in dubai or expats in uae i don't know <laughs> but uh, yeah the plan is obviously there the vision is such I've been very fortunate in the past uh, one and a half years that uh, I got this opportunity to be um, honored or to be able to achieve a few things. So I'm really, really grateful for that. First and foremost, um, there have been many milestones, but a uh, couple of them which are on top of my mind would be getting featured with Star Plus, with ZTV, um, doing a FM interview. and getting recognized at uh, Mrs UAE International she awards a lot of patients that we support today and they have been honoring the amount of uh, work and help that we uh, give it to them so um, um i there was there's a entity called GMBF so i've been awarded there as a women achiever so uh, there are a couple of them but like i said uh, it's too less i have to go a lot more but it's still uh, too much within one and a half years so i'm happy and thankful and grateful for whatever i have got yeah. i am proud uh, to be able to uh, you know get all of these people on one platform to try and make them understand that you know serious business can happen on facebook and uh, please don't please do take digital media marketing seriously it really supports businesses it has the capability to support business in the right way um, and to be able to build a beautiful team for myself uh, wherein uh, all these women have also got a objective for themselves and uh, to be able to contribute to the society and for their self growth as well so yeah happy and proud for that I try and balance my best because I have a small kid. Uh, I have a very uh, supportive husband. I try and give them time as much as we can. Uh, but uh, if I'm not able to give on a daily basis, maybe we are in the habit of taking breaks and vacations on and off. So we are able to spend some quality time where um, I have been told to switch off my mobile and all of that. So I try and do that. Yeah. I Actually, yes and no. um yes because there was a more disciplined morning um, you know i have to reach to a particular time so i'll be up and running and right now there is no discipline in life because it's uh, you're working for yourself so you are working late till 2 or 3 in the night getting up uh, late in the morning and all of that so i think that's the only reason i think i miss uh, the corporate life but um i don't miss it obviously that much also because what i am able to do now uh, brings a lot of uh, content and happiness and uh, um and to be able to follow my dreams and path i mean probably with job i wouldn't have got much time to grow id the way i am trying to do today so uh, yeah yes and no so just be consistent in your approach and uh, uh, and just believe in your dreams if it has not happened now don't worry just be on it it's going to happen if you are fully dedicated it it is going to not go anywhere so just be consistent with what you want from life <clears throat> i'm a very very good bathroom singer by the way <laughs> I still believe it. I don't know people around me believe it or not, but I think I'm a fantastic bathroom singer. And I, uh, the amount of time uh, I spend on bathroom singing, I think that's really funny. But uh, but I just love it. I enjoy it. All of you are doing a fabulous job. Um, I have been uh, noticing your page and the kind of professional and uh, look and feel touch it has. I think it's brilliant, and that's the reason also why I. connected with you and uh, i just thought that you know this is something really really nice and the way you guys are growing organically it's commendable so yeah lots and lots of power to you guys